a horrible display from Manchester United, to be honest, today. Um, there was some great performance, uh, performers in our team, but there was some really, really shambolic performances. The, the game deserved to be a draw, but of course I'm a Man United fan, so I don't care about anyone else. We, we needed the win, and uh, we should have got the win. No disrespect to Wolves. I'm not saying during the course of the game, I'm saying before the game, you know, you need to be picking up three points, especially if you want to be competing for the league, because we're now eight points behind Liverpool, six behind uh, City, I think it's not good, really isn't, especially this early in the season, uh, and it does look like it's going to be a season where we're fighting for third or fourth, <sighs> which isn't great, is it? But yeah, as I say, uh, the top performers in this game, Fred, definitely his best display for Manchester United. Uh, 60 minutes, he was subbed off, but for that 60 minutes, he was everywhere. He was intercepting, he was making some good passes, and he scored his first goal. It was a sublime touch from Paul Pogba, a lovely disguised touch, and a, a shot outside the box for, for Fred. Scores it, really nice finish. And after that, like usual, when we score, you know, the, the confidence is up. We're creating chances, and right before uh, half time, we could have made it 2 0 if not for a brilliant save by Rua Patricio. A Fred free kick, uh, and as I say, fantastic save by the goalkeeper. Unfortunately, if we went in 2 0 at half time, could have been a different outcome. Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't, and Wolves equalised in the second half. Um, this was Pogba's only mistake in the game, but unfortunately, it resulted in a goal. Uh, he was phenomenal throughout this game, like everything he was doing was immaculate, but it's one of those instances where you, you're thinking he's trying to be a little bit too fanciful, and he, he needs to cut that out a little bit in his uh, in his game, particularly for things like this, because yeah, he tries like a, a fancy flick and it's intercepted, it's brought on the counter-attack, it's a good cross-in uh, by Wolves, by their winger, oh, I know his name and I've completely forgot it, but anyway... Um, yeah, the ball eventually finds its way to join Matinho and it's a fantastic finish. Nothing you can do when the ball reaches Matinho, but a lot you can do to stop it reaching Matinho. As I say, Pogba made a mistake. Shaw was a little bit unlucky, uh, almost outstrengthed uh, the, the winger. And then Lindelof probably could have blocked the cross, but you know what? If buts, maybe they're not going to help us now. Uh, and then after that, we brought on Martial, we brought on Mata. Neither were really influential in the game Martial definitely needs a string of games to be fair he really does like he's a confidence player and his confidence is just shot to shit at the minute and yes a lot of people will blame Jose Mourinho for that and that's fair enough but I think it's a mixture of everything I really do but I, I think he needs games because we know what player he can be but he, he was shocking when he came on like all of our attackers were I'm not singling out Martial I'm not I'm not gonna be that guy um, but yeah, they, I'll get on to the other attackers uh, after I've gone on with the subs. But yeah, Matt was influ uh, wasn't influential as well when he came on, unfortunately. Pereira, however, when he was subbed on, did make a little bit of a difference. But unfortunately, it just wasn't enough for us. But our attackers today were absolutely tragic, if I'm honest. I love Lukaku, I really do. I think he's a great player, but he needs to be more clinical. Today, he had a couple of half chances that he just couldn't take. And there, there was a chance that was offside, obviously, so it wouldn't have counted anyway. But it was a delightful cross from Luke Shaw. One of our only good crosses this game. And uh, he headed wide. And it, it, those are the type of things. I know it's offside, but there was a couple of other half chances. He needs to be doing better and he needs to be putting them in. Especially when he's, you know, the focal point for a lot of our attacks. Yes, he needs a bit more service, but yeah, he just needs to be doing more. And then we move on to Alexis. He needs dropped. He really does. He's been absolutely shambolic for us. Three goals in 23 games. Uh, it, 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 Arsenal have gave us Danny Welbeck. They've swapped us Danny Welbeck back. They really have. Because, um, yeah, this is not Alexis Sanchez. He was absolutely world-class for Arsenal. He was unplayable in the best way possible. Like he, he was one of the best in the Premier League, if not the best for a period of time. But he's just he's terrible for us. It really annoys me. And, um, yeah, he definitely needs dropped. Rashford, I'm not sure if his ban includes the Derby game uh, in the Carabao Cup. If it does, then I'm sure Rashford will play it, uh, in the next Premier League game, which I think is against West Ham. If it doesn't, and he's banned for West Ham, play Martial, because Alexis needs dropped for the foreseeable future, um, and then maybe get another chance further down the line. But, yeah, he, he was terrible today. Lingard wasn't much better either. Uh, but he was doing a lot of uh, tracking down 
uh, you know the typical Lingard stuff that like off the ball where he's, he's he's hard working and that creates chances for us when we win possession back but he didn't really have a, a key pass or a, a shot that was troubling uh, the goalkeeper so he wasn't great either um, so yeah we just need to be doing better Wolves are a solid team but it's just not good enough other positives in the game, I suppose, good performers were Shaw, Fellaini, that role that Mourinho's found him is perfect, uh, sitting back, kind of a little bit deeper than a CDM, but not quite a centre-back, protecting the back four and intercepting attacks before they even uh, develop, so he, he's done well again, um, and then Smalling as well, they like, bought that mistake against Spurs, he's actually been really good for us, so... Uh, as much as I like Bailly, I really do. He's one of my favourite United players. It's going to be hard for him to get into the team because I think he's fighting for that position, that centre-back position, the right-hand sided one with Smalling, rather than the other side, which I don't think he's as good. Um, so I'm sure he'll get a start against Derby so you know he can fight back to try and get into the team because I do like Eric Bailly. On his day, he's definitely our best centre-back by a mile. But off performances, Smalling has been our best this uh, season so far, so you can see why he keeps playing games. But yeah, we just need to do better, we really do. I don't want it to be a season where we're fighting for third or fourth, but that genuinely looks exactly what it's going to turn out to be. Hope I'm wrong, but I guess we'll see.